This is Voice of Africa Radio, 94 FM. Hello, my people, what they happen? This is your man, can come, and you're listening to VOAR 94. Voice of Africa Radio 94 FM, www.voiceofafricaradio.com, live in London and across the world. I have uh, Jerusha in the studios with me, and also I have the CEO of Milky Town Records, Emmanuel, or Damzi, as he likes, prefers to be called. Oh, actually, what do I call you? What Damzy, do I call you? Damzi boy. Damzi boy. Yeah. Damzi boy. Yep. But I'll call you your Christian name. <laughs> you can call me whatever. I know you, so you can call me Manuel. <laughs> but on on uh, live to everyone, you want to be known as Damsey Boy. Yeah, correct? That's, my, that's, that's my performance name. So that's performance <laughs> name. <laughs> and I've got the beautiful Jerusha in front of me. Hello, Jerusha. Uh, so, I, I mean, I wanted to have this interview um, with you this morning. Obviously, you're an up and coming singer. You're a single Valentine. I believe it's your debut. Yeah. Debut single will be coming out Valentine's Day. Correct? 8th of February. 8th of February, not Valentine's Day. Well, a week of Valentine's Day, but it's a Valentine's song. Yeah. Yes, so 8th of February, but it's uh, it's the week of Valentine. It's the Valentine yeah. week. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so before, when I um, want to ask you just a bit about yourself, can you just tell the viewers out there just a bit about yourself, maybe your name, how old you are, how you got started, a little bit of back history. Go. Yeah, I just got a call and I was thinking, okay, what is this about? And um, Damsey was like, would you come and have a meeting? Mm-hmm. And really, I didn't think it was anything serious because I've had like, people come to me before and say, oh, would you like to work with us and stuff? But nothing ever comes out of it. So I wasn't expecting much. And so I came, had a meeting, and then I did a... Um, I did a show for Damsey. I did um, I Am Deviate. Yes. And then just from there, everything's just gone up. I've um, been working on Valentine with him. Um, he wrote it for me and just been working on, like, my whole branding and everything else. So, yeah. So, obviously, it's, um, the, this industry, music, is so hard to get into. And as you said, um, how can you differentiate the people that are kind of really going to take you up to the next level and the ones that kind of say, oh, yeah, we want to work with you. And then, you know, nothing happens. <laughs> I mean, it happens all the time to, yeah. to people, not just in the music industry, but in the film industry or wherever you have it that's it, artistically based. I mean, there's so much. So how, what made you feel that Milky Town Records was the right place for you? Um, I don't know. I've, I guess... Like, you can't really always know. Like, unless it's a proper known uh, sort of company or whatever, you can't actually really know for certain that you're going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I did like and admire about Damsey and Milky Town is that they had a lot of faith in me. Like, although I hadn't really done anything, like, all I'd done really shows. I hadn't wrote my own music. I didn't really have anything. Like, but they still believed in me and they were still willing to work with me and stuff. So I saw that, like, even if I wasn't to get famous straight away, they were willing to, like, improve on my own skills in terms of like being able to get me some songs that are mine to be able to sing and for people to realize that I'm my own artist as much as I like other artists as well. And obviously it's no secret that you're a young woman uh, in your teens, I, yeah. I do believe. <laughs> yeah. And how are you, because I know you're still kind of studying, how yeah. are you able to juggle the, like your career and your education? <laughs> it's, um, it's really hard, obviously, because um, college is a lot more than... Um, secondary school so it's a lot harder but I don't know somehow I'm juggling it I'm still I'm kind of behind I'm not gonna lie to you (laughs) I'm kind of behind on some certain things but um, I'm juggling it and I'm learning to sort of like deal with it and prioritize like what needs to be done first and it's not like um, the music is so busy yet so I still have time for to do like my other work and stuff so I, I mean your your single hasn't come out yet but I mean yeah. there is a possibility that when Valentine does come out yeah. it's just gonna go like phenomenal yeah. like be, be huge and yeah. maybe your schedule will change <laughs> would you do you still see you finishing uh, college or even aspiring to do higher education um yeah I don't know like it's it's easy to say that I want to, mm-hmm. but when it actually gets down to the crunch and it actually happens, I don't know. Like, obviously, I don't want to just have my singing and nothing to back me up for it. So I want to still carry on with college and everything else 
like I think I should be able to do both I think hopefully I will definitely <laughs> anyway. um, and talking a bit about your music what kind of uh, like you have your Beyonce's and Rihanna's what what kind of category would you put yourself in are you a, a gospel artist are you hip hop are you a com- completely new genre altogether <laughs> <laughs> can you describe a bit about your music and what you inspire t- to be when it comes to your musical talents um, that's really difficult because I'll say because of the kind of voice that I actually do have, I would say like I'm quite a ballad person, like a power ballad person, yes. like Jennifer Hudson, mm-hmm. Beyonce. <laughs> but then, because I, I like so many different styles of music, I, I like to like dabble in different areas. So, and I would love to explore like different things. So, um, I want to train in classical music mm-hmm. to like obviously perfect my voice in the sense that as much as it's strong and stuff I would like to improve my vocal range and whatever and I would have a bigger stage that way to be able to be doing that maybe stuff on um, Broadway and not just you know just be doing that shows as well so So. you you quite like to get into musicals and and that aspect and your background I mean is it from a a religious background is it a Christian background yeah my dad's a bishop and my mum's a pastor serious (laughs) I I did not expect that Coming. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> it's serious. Yeah. It's actually like Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually been hard for me, like even though Emmanuel's like been believing in me and everything, it's been kind of hard at first because my dad obviously wasn't too keen because he's like, I don't want you to just go into anything and just end up, you know, doing like mainly worldly stuff. Obviously, he wants me to stay like grounded in like gospel and obviously like Christian music. So. Do you, yeah. Do you see yourself maybe perhaps doing a gospel album? I mean, I know um, Michelle from Destiny's Child, she has yeah, her gospel definitely, album. Definitely, um, definitely. Do you see that maybe in a yeah, direction definitely. you might go? Yeah, definitely. Because Valentine, as much as it's a Valentine song, mm-hmm. it's got like a hint of like gospel mm-hmm. slash Christian in it because I talk about God in it. Yeah. And it's actually got the meaning of not saying to some like another boy or another girl, like be my Valentine, but actually saying to God for him to be... Um, the, my valentine because like like people around you can fail you obviously but obviously if you're relying on god he'll never fail you so yeah definitely definitely and um and coming back to like um you being a young woman i mean a lot of people especially in the african community yeah w- when it comes to this kind of um career choice they kind of they rather you avoid it yeah as they rather kind of they if they see you they'll say that you want they want to see you go into some guaranteed <laughs> yeah. money and employment yeah. i mean how did you manage to come around that i mean are your parents supportive of your career choice oh definitely my parents like as much as they are african they're quite i wouldn't say liberal but they're quite understanding of the different choices obviously they wouldn't allow me to just do anything mm-hmm. they would they want if they think oh that I want to do this or if I say that I want to do something they want to make sure that I can be successful in it and know that I'm actually good at it so if I came to them and I said oh I want to do this but they know that I'm not actually good at it they wouldn't encourage me to do it Mm -hmm. so they'd let me know but they obviously believe in my singing and um, so they they don't mind me being a singer but they obviously want me to finish school as well so yeah and the road is to signing with Milky Town, I mean, has it been a tough one? Is it something that you found difficult or is it something that's just come quite easy to you? Um, in terms of actually being with Milky Town, it hasn't been hard for me because I've wanted to be more serious about my own music. Yes. It's just obviously because, like I said, I'm under my parents' roof and everything. Like, my parent, my dad wasn't so keen at first mm-hmm. Um because he, like I said before, he didn't want me to be doing that worldly music and stuff. So it was hard at first. It took a while. And um, like um, Emmanuel's got a really good relationship with my parents. So like now there's a big like trust, you know, a big trust ball there. So they trust Emmanuel to like take care of me and things. So now it's like no matter what happens my parents are fine as long as I'm working with Emmanuel I'm with Emmanuel so yeah so do you think that helps that your parents knew uh, Emmanuel Dandy Boy um, yeah. in quotes um, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it was good it was, it's good that they actually have a relationship with him because it just means that they're more free because my parents are quite protective of me they they don't just allow me to 
like hang around with anyone because obviously I'm a girl so yeah. it's not like it's another girl so obviously it's good that they have trust um for Emmanuel because it just allows me to do a lot more things and yeah and um, a bit about your family history I mean are you uh <laughs> are you the only girl what's your family history do you have brothers do you have sisters oh, yes I have six younger brothers and sisters wow, wow. yeah wow. and then this. and not and then I have two older wow that's yeah. a huge family <laughs> yeah I know so, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too difficult for them to do they want to part ways with their with their daughter they've got so many other what <laughs> Yeah, yes. definitely. Definitely. Okay, you're listening to Voice of Africa Radio 94 FM. Uh, we are uh, having an interview here with Drusha and also the CEO of Milky Town Records, Damsey Boy. Uh, we're just going to take a commercial break. There's just a ringing in the in the studio. Is all that? <laughs> <laughs> As it happens, live radio, you know. I don't worry, when I get on fair, I'm going to tell someone off. We'll see who it is. <laughs> Voice of Africa Radio uh, keep it locked on uh, Voice of Africa 94 FM uh, live across London and worldwide it's still ringing I love how it's still ringing Voice of Africa Radio 94 FM